Fencing is fast. Fencing is complicated, but saber is war. Saber is power. Saber is my passion. I started fencing when I was about nine years old. I was just hungry to keep going to practice and go to competitions, and I just knew that I loved being around it. I loved how it was thought-provoking. It just feels so good to hit someone. <laughs> I think there were a lot of moments in my career where I felt I needed to change a lot of the things that I do, how I look how I act and I allowed people's opinions to influence you know, my confidence level. I'm the only person that gets to measure my success. The difference with how I prepare for competitions now that I'm in my 30s, I focus on building technique and building speed because my body is my weapon. Fencing is definitely you versus yourself. If you don't believe in what you do, you're gonna come up short-handed. So that's why I actually wrote win on my glove for Rio because I had a very hard time focusing on the moment. I would look in my glove and see that right there really big and say, okay, what's important now? What's the next thing I need to do? And how do you move forward? When it comes to competition, I think that there's parameters kind of put on women, you know, how they should act because we're females. But I don't think that's the case. We're athletes, you know, we're in the moment, we're feeling the energy, we're feeling the adrenaline. It's that fight or flight that kind of comes out, you know, that inner female warrior. It's a feat to be proud of like what your body can do and especially as a female, strong is beautiful and hopefully other young girls will see it as something that they want to be and follow through. My body is definitely four years older from Rio to now, but my mind is also four years older and with it comes a lot of experience and points that have made me into a stronger person today. So I think with all the failures, all the bad days, all the good days, I mean, everything just gets wrapped up into this beautiful ball of this is my life and how I'm trying to prepare for the 2020 Olympics. And navigating my way through all the chaos that is figuring yourself out, it's awesome to feel more grounded going into this qualification process. I think it's a great way to share my journey as an athlete, as a woman, as, as a person.